Is on wheels. The secret to a great meal is all in the preparation. When you put your fresh herbs, when you put that great seasoning, it's wonderful. I've been doing this now for close to 30 years. In order to cook with love, you have to love what you do. When I think about the elderly who cannot get out of their bed, who cannot come down the stairs, I'm going to think about my grandmother. She took me under her wings and had me in the kitchen with her and teaching me how to cook. My grandmother, we just have a big smile on her face. And what she will say to me, well done, my boy, well done. I taught you well. Time is now 7.49. We're heading out to our first stop. We got Miss Williams on my side right here. How you doing today, Miss Williams? I'm awake now. <laughs> Ready for our day. Yeah, yeah. we're like the A-team. This job is just not for anyone. You gotta be very special. You have to be a people person just like Perry. That's right. <laughs> just like me, right? Just like Perry. The client that you're giving that meal to, can be a little red in the eyes, can be a little slow walking to the door. This is your food, Meals on Wheels, your food. And where's your, where's, where's your cane at, man? You gotta use your cane, man. They look to see us every day. Sometimes it's not all about the meal. Sometimes it's about the companionship for the little five minutes or the four minutes that you're there. How are you? Blessed and highly favored. Blessed and highly favored. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So it's a rewarding thing just to see a smile on a client's face and know that we're doing the right things. I start my Saturday mornings waking up at 6, 6.30. Then we walk down to the 12 express bus, which takes about an hour, 15 minutes. And we walk to those doors and get our meals. Meals on wheels. Delivery is fun because like they're glad to see me and I'm glad to see them even more. When I give them their meal, I like to see them smiling. It makes me feel good inside. What I would like my daughter to learn from all this is to be a good person, a helpful person, and just be there for others as much as she can. It's a really special bonding time for us. This is the first thing you gotta know to deal with seniors. Someday you're gonna be a senior. Care, how you feeling today? What you did? How was your weekend? Stuff like that. Like they're our family. Where are you going? I'm to see you. Oh, I'm glad to see him. Every time he comes. When I deliver this meal, I deliver part of me in that meal. It's more than a meal. We deliver part of us. Conta. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I've been delivering for Raymond for eight years. And he never, the first time he says, to me that he didn't want the meal no more. So basically called him, because he didn't want no more meals. What is going on with him? Deliverer said that he's not feeling too well and um, that he doesn't want the meal anymore. When he got there this morning, he said he didn't look too good. Call him and let me know. Okay, thanks. We have 780 meals per day and my responsibility is to make sure that all of those meals are delivered. So I get more than one person coming in here and telling me, oh, Miss Karen, my client died and they're in tears. And I have to let them know that we cared about this person and we did all that we could. And we gave them a meal every day. The first time I met Miss Kitchen, that is out of breath. It was like a five-flight walk up, no elevator or nothing. She was really old and frail, and she could barely walk. And I walked in, she started complaining about chest pain. 911, what's the emergency? I have a 102-year-old female complaining of chest pains. I need an ambulance at 200 Second Avenue, please. Well, as the EMS people had put her in the chair, I held her hand because she didn't want me to go anywhere. But I just, I didn't want to let her down. I felt like I owed her that much. City Meals gives out these awards every year. It meant a lot to know that, you know, I put in almost 10 years and it was recognized. I feel like we do really good work. It meant a lot. Making other people happy and providing for them and giving 100% every day I come in, I'll do it, I'll keep doing that. If you fall sick, 
we are the ones here to catch you. So that makes us a family. Saturday, Sunday, holiday meals. We work Thanksgiving Day, we work Christmas Day. If city meals were not around, a lot of people would suffer. Meals on wheels. <laughs>